Coefficient of determination, also known as R squared, or abbreviated as R squared, like this, um, represents just the percentage or proportion of the variance in the dependent variable. Uh, this is our response variable, which is explained by the independent variables. Okay, These are the predictive variables of the regression model. In other words, we are measuring the strength of the relationship between the model and the dependent variable. Okay, Now, a distinction between R which was the coefficient of, um, or rather correlation coefficient, and R squared is that uh, with coefficient of um, correlation of coefficient, uh, we use this to identify the strength, or, or rather we use this to identify the pattern or the relationship in our model. Or in R squared, we use this to identify the strength of our model. Uh, essentially, we can use this for prediction. Okay. Now, R squared is given by this equation, okay? So we have the numerator here, SSR, divided by SST, okay? So SSR here simply just means the sum of regression, sum of squares due to regression. And this is just the sum of the differences between the predicted value, Y hat, this is our predicted value, and the mean of our response or uh, dependent variable. Okay, in our denominator here, uh, we have SST. SST is just the sum square of total. Okay, which is given as the square differences between our observed y here. This is our observed dependent variable. Okay, again we can call this the target variable, or the outcome variable, or dependent variable. Okay, um, and the um, the predicted by, uh, or rather the mean of the dependent variable. Okay, all right. So once we have that, uh, we can also compute the regression error. Okay, so if, for example, we wanted to get how much the total error still remains in our regression model, um, we compute this SSR divided by SSD. Essentially, this is just getting to know how much total error still remains in our regression model, okay? But now, if we want to find how much error was removed using the regression analysis, we can do one minus SSR, <coughs> SSR divided by SST, okay? So what this tells us is, um, uh, it just gives us how much error was removed during the regression analysis. And this is referred to as our R squared error. Okay, so this is our R squared error. <clears throat> yeah. Now, let's see here. Um, so the higher your R squared, the better. And most times it will fall between uh, zero and one. Suppose we have an R squared that is very high, let's say equals to one. Okay. Although theoretically this is not possible, but let's just say we have a very high uh, R squared. What does this mean? This is the same as the variance of your dependent model, okay? What if we have R squared that is very low, okay? Uh, so when we have an R squared that's very low, what well, that means, this model doesn't represent a variance dependent model, right? Or, or basically here, the regression is no better than just taking the mean, okay? Taking the mean of our response variable or dependent variable and what that means is that there are, there are no useful information coming from our independent variables, okay? So when you do regression analysis, you're not getting any useful information coming from your uh, independent variables um, or, or response variable. That's why your R squared will be very low. Um, also, there are often times when you might end up having a negative uh, R squared, okay? <clears throat> so here, uh, it just means that you're doing worse. That means um, you're doing worse than the mean, okay? So you're doing worse than the mean, okay? Uh, this happens when the predictor variables or your independent variables doesn't explain the dependent variable, okay? Uh, this is where your SSR, okay, is approximately the same as your SST, okay? Nothing is going on here, okay? So in summary, we can say R squared is used to evaluate the scattered data points about your regression line, okay? 
All right. Um, again, as we mentioned here, um, it's not possible to have an R square that is equals to one. Okay. When that happens, it only means that our predicted value. Okay. So our y hat. Okay. And our observed value y. Okay. All fall on the regression line. All these data points fall on the regression line. So that all the data points fall on our regression line. Okay. So that's when R square equals to one. So all the data points will be scattered on this line. So they match. Okay. So just a word of caution here. Um, again, the R value can be very deceptive. So you have to be very careful because a good model can have uh, a low R squared. Okay. What that means is that this is a biased model. Okay. And also um, a biased model can have a high R squared. So to cure this, uh, as a data scientist, you need to um, uh, plot, use a residual plot, okay? Using a residual plot will expose this bias, okay? Because the goal here is to make sure that um, your predicted value, okay? Or your predicted error are randomly distributed. So if you use a res residual plot, remember a residual is just the same as the error between um, your Y and the predicted, okay? Y and Y hat, that's your error, the, the prediction error. So if you plot this on your residual and there's a pattern going on, then that's a bias model, okay? A good model is where we have, um, you know, your uh, residuals uh, randomly distributed, okay? So in our next video, we're gonna look at adjusted R squared.